Hi, my name is Saad Ibrahim. I am with Petro Management Group, a consulting company in Calgary. And I will be the instructor of the class Petroleum Engineering for Non-Engineers. This is considered one of our best sellers. And the reason why this class targets nearly 70% of the staff of most of the oil companies, basically the non-technical, the support staff, in addition to that, also, we have sometimes a geologist, geophysist, or petrophysist attending the class. Uh, this class can be offered uh, for different versions. We have a four-day class, a three-day class, and even a two-day class based on the requirement of the client. This class is offered to the industry and also in-house for many oil companies. Uh, in this class, we're going to cover a wide range of topics uh, for the petroleum industry. Uh, we start with an overview of the class, of the course, uh, which means we talk about the contribution of each professional in the oil company, uh, starting from uh, geophysicist, geologist, the landman, and all the different disciplines under petroleum engineering. Drilling engineers, completion engineers, reservoir engineers, uh, exploitation engineers. So we talked about the contribution of each profession into, say, preparing the development plan for oil and gas fields. Uh, we start with the subject um, petroleum geology. We talk a little bit about subsurface geology because engineers and geologists work closely. So we talk about the different kind of rocks we deal with in the oil and gas business, we talked about the deposition environment. We talk about the main elements that should be present to have a commercial oil and gas um, reservoir. We cover also some of the fundamentals, such as rock and fluid properties, how we can obtain information about the rock in the reservoir and the fluids by taking fluid samples or rock samples and have them analyzed in the laboratories and the benefits of all of this information that we get out of the rock and the fluid uh, properties. Then we get into the actual um, uh, process of drilling a well. So we talk about a step by step how a well is drilled. Uh, we talk about uh, rotary drilling, we talk about slanted well drilling, uh, sliding drilling, and also horizontal well drilling. In terms of completion, how do we complete our wells? All the options available on completing the well, how to run casing, how to cement the well, how to perforate the well, all of these aspects of well completions are covered. Then we move into the subject of reserves. Uh, reserves are the value of the company. How the oil and gas companies, the determine reserves, so we cover the subjects of reserves classifications and the industry standard techniques to calculate uh, reserves, uh, whether we use deterministic or probabilistic techniques. Then we move into the actual uh, field developments. How we develop a field, what sort of decisions we have to make to develop the field. Some of these decisions are related to the well bore itself, or some decisions are related to the big picture of the reservoir. All of this decision we discuss on how we develop oil and gas fields and of course prepare the plan for the management so they have heads up on how we're going to develop the field, allocate resources and uh, technology or trained staff to carry out the development plan. We have specific sections on artificial lift pumps, how we lift gas or oil to the surface when we produce the well. Uh, also, we talk about specifically the application of horizontal wells in improving performance of oil and gas fields. The next section we cover is production operating problems, how we diagnose production problems, and how we fix it. So we show lots of examples on that. Uh, we have a section on enhanced oil recovery to improve uh, the recoverable reserves, so we talk about all the techniques available from water flooding to CO2 injection, chemical flooding, all of these techniques we cover in that section. 
The next section is on unconventional. So we talk about what is unconventional, what's the difference between unconventional and conventional fields. And we talk about a uh, variety of different fields such as tight formation like the montney or the cardium. Uh, we, we talk about uh, culbid methane, CBM, shale gas, all of these uh, type of unconventional uh, fields are discussed. And of course, we discuss the applications of horizontal well with multi-stage frac, how we multi-stage frac our horizontal wells and the different techniques used for that. Finally, we close the course with economics. We work for the money, so we have to show the oil companies that these projects that we are proposing will yield uh, a good net present value and good uh, economic benefit to the company. That is uh, the all the subject in this class. If you have any more questions or concerns, please let us know. Thank you.